Hey, what's up guys? Mike Red Fox. In this video, we're going to test the new NB Miner 39.6 with its further unlock for LHR cards and mining Ethereum. So here in the test bench is my 3080 Ti. This card has been along the ride with me for all the LHR stuff I've been testing over the last several months. So let's look at what the latest update is from the team over at NB Miner. So checking out the latest update here, NB Miner version 39.6, you can see that it promises a higher hash rate and more stable LHR unlocking for both modes of LHR that they run. Now they run LHR mode one and LHR mode two. One is like their standard LHR mode and the other is their low power LHR mode. They've now changed the default LHR mode to one. So if you just power up this miner, got your GPU mining, it's going to default to LHR one and not LHR mode two, which it was, which was a low power mode. And the reason it's doing that is because they've been able to increase the default values of LHR mode one up to 74. So what that means is that now using that mode, you can get 74% unlock of the true mega hash that an LHR GPU would be able to do uh, if it was fully unlocked from mining. So what I'd like to do is just take a look at where we've been in this journey and then we'll measure where we are now. So looking at some of my previous videos, you can see back in August, I tested the first version of NB Miner 39 that included a partial unlock for the GPUs. And this specific 3080 Ti was getting 78, 79 mega hash back in that testing. And then later on, about a month later, G Miner and Law Miner came out with their updates. And you can see that I pushed it a little bit further. I was getting almost 83 mega hash with this GPU. So that leads us to now. Let's take a look at how we are doing right now. All right, so there it is. You can see it on your screen here. We're hitting 88 mega hash now on this 3080 Ti. So if we look back, we are up five mega hash from where we were before with Law Miner and G Miner. So a really great improvement and continuing to progress in the right direction. The one thing I want you to pay attention to, actually, let me switch over to the miner here so you can see it running in real time. The one thing I want you to pay attention to is you can see in the software, we're reporting about 225 watts. And if you see on the screen here, I have the watt meter hooked up to this GPU running. And you can see that job, that is just wildly inaccurate in the software. We're actually hitting about 295 and then it spikes up to 315 at the wattage at the wall. And that just has this GPU on it and its riser on a platinum server power supply with nothing else. So it's isolated as best as it can be to give me a true reading at the wall. So know that this, even though we got some hash rates improvements hitting 88, almost 89 mega hash, it's still pulling a significant amount at the wall over what the software is reporting. Going back here, you can see the overclocks that I'm using. I got that memory maxed out all the way that I can get it before I see uh, negative impacts on its performance. And you can see the absolute core clock I'm using. The best I found was 1150 on this specific 3080 Ti. So the next thing that I was really curious to do was to just kind of throw these numbers into what to mine because None of my LHR cards are mining Ethereum. And I was like, well, is it worth it? Because we're getting closer and closer. And getting five mega hash up on a GPU is pretty significant, in my opinion. So I wanted to see how I was doing, considering the wattage this is actually pulling at the wall, plus the mega hash that this is now able to produce. So if we go over to what's in mine here, I put in the 88 mega hash. And I took an average around 305 watts, which is what this GPU is pulling, this 3080 Ti. So I'm going to go over here and hit calculate, just default 10 cent electric rate and average profitability last 24 hours. And you see this car is pulling in profit $6.79 a day, which actually surprised me how much profit that this is pulling a day. And it made me think about, should I just be getting these over on Ethereum? So that's it, guys. That is the new NB Miner 39.6 testing on this 3080 Ti. Really great job to the NB Miner team seeing this continual progress in unlocking these GPUs. I would love to know from you guys in the comment section down below, do you have your LHR cards on Ethereum or are you mining something else? 
And if you're mining something else, have you thought about moving them to Ethereum with the continued progress that we see from the team at NB Miner? Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more content on GPU mining. Join my Discord if you'd like to chat. The link is in the description below. And as always, please take care of yourself, take care of each other, and I will see you in the next video. I'm <laughs> sorry.